Hello everyone where can you use recreational marijuana? Nowhere recreational marijuana is legal so you stay in compliance. Nine states plus Washington DC have legalized marijuana for recreational usage. As a result, more Americans are dipping their toes into recreational marijuana use, as laws loosen and acceptance for cannabis grows. Even if recreational marijuana is legal where you live or visit, that does not mean you can smoke, vape, dab, or eat cannabis anywhere you want. Doing so can lead to a citation or worse, depending on state law. Where can you use your legal marijuana once you buy it? The following is a summary of where recreational marijuana can be consumed legally. Balcony or private backyard may be your backyard, back deck or back balcony is the most popular legal place to enjoy recreational cannabis. Homeowners can consume cannabis on their private property, such as their own yard or a balcony. Adult friends and family members can also consume cannabis in your yard, such as for a cookout or garden party. In most instances, it is illegal to consume marijuana in public view, so it's best if you consume marijuana on your porch or back patio, away from neighbors and passers-by. If you are a renter, you may have difficulty smoking marijuana legally. Landlords are legally allowed to ban smokers from smoking marijuana, just as they can ban smoking in general. Some landlords and property managers may even include a no-waiver clause in your lease that states you can be evicted if you use marijuana inside or outside the property you are renting. However, even those who live in apartments or multi-unit buildings that are not prohibited from consuming recreational marijuana can opt to use a vape pen or opt for edibles in order not to disturb your neighbors and others nearby. If tenants complain that marijuana smoke is a nuisance, a landlord may be more inclined to implement rules around cannabis use. Within your home you are allowed to smoke, vape, or eat marijuana in recreational marijuana states, which means that you can smoke, vape, or eat cannabis inside your own home or a friend's house. Because you're inside the house, you aren't in public view. If you decide to use marijuana indoors, you may want to take precautions to ensure cannabis doesn't offend family members or roommates. Marijuana smoke imparts a pungent and sweet smell that can linger on clothes and fabrics, so it is best to either invest in an air purifier or a fan, or purchase deodorizing air freshening products. The vapors emitted from vaporizing your cannabis are much subtler and tame, and they disappear quickly. Cannabis edibles eliminate the issue altogether. It is important to remember that property owners and landlords reserve the right to allow or deny marijuana use on their property, including the apartment rental you are staying in. Marijuana social clubs A few states that allow recreational marijuana allow businesses called marijuana lounges where you can legally consume it in a social setting. California and Colorado are the only two recreational marijuana states that currently allow social lounges, and lawmakers in Nevada and Alaska have considered doing the same. Marijuana social lounges are great for adults who otherwise don't have the option of smoking marijuana in private. This may include adults whose access to private cannabis consumption is controlled by landlords as well as tourists from out of town. You can smoke, vape, or eat the cannabis you bring while you're at cannabis lounges, but they don't sell it on site. In California, however, lounge permits are granted to some dispensaries in order to allow you to purchase your marijuana and consume it in one location. Where recreational marijuana should not be consumed while recreational marijuana is legal in most states, marijuana remains illegal in many places. As a rule, recreational marijuana smoking is illegal and not allowed in public spaces. This means you should not use marijuana while at a hotel, restaurant or bar, or while attending a concert or sports event. While some cities may have policies directing local law enforcement to deprioritize marijuana possession, avoiding public use is always best so you don't get in trouble. It's never acceptable to smoke marijuana at work. In almost all states, employers are allowed to fire employees if they are under the influence on the job. Also, it is illegal to use marijuana while driving or riding as a passenger. This does not only apply to inhalable products, but also marijuana edibles and tinctures. Also keep in mind that since marijuana use and possession are still against federal law, you cannot smoke marijuana at the many tourist attractions on federal land. The law includes national parks, national forests, national monuments, national wildlife refuges, and even some mountain ski slopes. Additionally, some Native American reservation lands have laws prohibiting the use of marijuana.